It's another day, another dollar. It's been a long time, guys, and I apologize about that because I know some of you guys have been waiting for my next vlog. But we had to do a few things. <laughs> like what? Like getting married. Look at us. Whoa. <laughs> Two rings, okay. not just one. You guys have seen the original, but there's a band now that's included with that. So, hmm, that was a whole lot of fun. We got married when? Three weeks ago? Yeah. Three weeks ago, we had a week-long honeymoon. We went down to Disneyland, had ourselves all sorts of festivities over there. Janelle actually showed me how to pin trade. I had no idea that was even a thing over there. And then after that, we decided to take a little trip along the coast along the PCH highway. And so we hit up Santa Barbara and Morro Bay and all these beautiful sites, which I will probably put in B-roll or something here. So that is the big news faux show. How are you feeling about being married? I love it. I love it too. <laughs> She's amazing. As you can see, we wanted to commemorate our marriage by wearing these for Halloween. Can you see? Can you see? We are <laughs> jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> Whoa! We are a picturesque mountain scene. Yes, together we are beautiful. Alone, we are... Incomplete. <laughs> incomplete. <laughs> okay, a couple other things to note since I last saw you is I tried out Corner Shop in the Bay Area and it was okay. The app needs a lot of work. It really does. I mean, there's just way too many buttons as soon as you get the order. And man, I'm not sure if things have changed in the past like three weeks or so, but yeah, it's not bad though I hear from certain people like Gig Life. Number two, I got a unicorn in the bay. $110 at BevMo, y'all. What? I mean, that was my first true unicorn. The other ones that I got with Janelle were like baby unicorns. They were great. I was thankful. They were like $40, $50, but this one was $110. So I am thankful. Number three. Well, we are in Reading right now. And just to catch you up with the state of Reading, it's not that great anymore. About two vlogs ago, I told you that you can make a whole lot of money over here, like $30 an hour. It's no longer like that. Why? Because I think that video in which I said that you can make $1,500 a week here oversaturated our market. And so drivers just came from the woodworks and there are no orders on DoorDash. So what did I have to do? I had to start multi-apping. So now I'm on Instacart, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. Today we have a shift at 11.30 with DoorDash though. So we are gonna do some good. The last thing of note before we get started is last week I got scammed. Like, some guy actually posed as a DoorDash support agent. He gave me a call, actually stated the customer's name and said, hey, uh, we're kind of leery about customers and DoorDashes being in cahoots with each other because we got a lot of stuff stolen from PetSmart before. So why don't I take down a bunch of your information to see if you're not one of those guys. I fell into the trap, guys. I thought I was completely done with being susceptible to things like this, but $200 was nearly taken away from me. Good thing I saw it in time, so I was able to cancel that transaction. I called the guy back because he actually gave me his regular phone number, and I was like, bro, hey, I noticed that $200 is missing from my account. And he tried to be professional. He was like, yeah, well, da 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 And then he couldn't think of anything else, and so he said, well, that's none of your concern, and hung up the phone on me. Crazy, 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 crazy. Anyhow, today's gonna be a fun day, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because we're married. And married door dashers, well, it's like next level. <laughs> okay, let's see what Halloween has to bring to us today. That should be pretty decent. I saw yesterday in an email that they're gonna give like four extra dollars to people in the Bay. Maybe that applies here as well. So that could be very helpful. And who works on Halloween evening? I don't know, do you guys do that? Leave a comment in the section below if you do. All right, let's take a look at what's going on today. We got Instacart, zero batches. I'm telling you guys, it is oversaturated over here. We got Uber Eats, no orders. 
Grubhub, no orders. See, zero tasks, boom. And last but not least, this guy right here. We have scheduled a shift, as you can see, for one hour with DoorDash, uh, 11.30 to 12.30, because that's as good as you can get right now. Nuts. Anyhow, let's make that money. All right, we got two available orders. That's not gonna last long. 10.97, one full service order, 4.4 at, where is that? Petco. And 14.49, do, 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 do. Hmm, what should we do? BevMo one. BevMo, here we go. <laughs> you guys have no idea how fast guys snatch up these orders over here. Like, it's really fast. I mean, if this was a normal day, those two orders would have been snatched up already. easier with her <laughs> she really is a shopping queen like when I go shopping with her I might bring like one or two items to her cart to help her out when she's with me there's like at least 10 or 12 items picked out before I even know it I'm like <laughs> how the flip did you find that so quick <laughs> and she doesn't even have the app on hand like she just memorizes it from broke memory oh I think we got ourselves a grub hub Oh, Marcus Street Pizza in Delhi, 5.8 miles at 9.48. I said bingo. Okay. Bingo. What's his name, You know where it is? Red Bluff, California. It's like 30 minutes away. 30 minutes just to get there. <laughs> no. That's disgusting. <laughs> 13, 15, one full service order, five miles at Boom Max. Let's see if it's still there by the time I push it. Yeah! I think we got it. I love the tour in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abode To get a little jolt Alrighty, 2088 for Food Max Two batches and um, it's now gone That one's 15 miles away, so uh, The Save Mart order The second one is not so good Yeah, not right Told you People here have a happy trigger finger Okay, more will come up. It's Sunday and it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Lots of Wait, while we're waiting, I have a question for you guys. <laughs> it's bugging me. Is this brown or is it green? Comment below. It's Don't tell them what we think it is. They have to comment first and we'll tell you at the end. <laughs> it's definitely blue. <laughs> All right, we uh, took a little break. Gotta get some gas, some diesel gas. It's five dollars a gallon in California, guys. If you're from a different state, just be super thankful that your gas prices don't look like this. Yeah. No bueno. Anyhow, while we're taking a break, I took this order. Boom. It is Food Max. So we're going back over there again. It's 18 units all together, 16 items, and it's about 13 bucks. So Okay, here's the list. 
This is the game plan. Mm -hmm. What's on the list? Veggies, frozen stuff, lots of bread. We're looking for pork butt. I don't know if y'all saw that. <laughs> it, it seems really doable. We were just here, so we know most of these items. Items? <laughs> items? <laughs> <laughs> most of these items are probably in the store. From my electro. They did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. Snacks, snacks, snacks. I'm looking for some snacks. I want American cheese. Singles. I thought there was like they want the 16 slice singles, not the 24 slice. Nailed it. Nailed it. Gotta find my missing piece again. Where did he go? <laughs> I found you again, and I have brought cheese. <laughs> you really good at that. <laughs> what do we got here? We got sprouts, eleven dollars and thirty-five cents at two point four miles. Only six items. Okay. What do you say? Do we already accept it? <laughs> <laughs> the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It's time for a mid-session update. Yeah. We decided to get some food over at Sprouts while we were on that last order because we were getting there, weren't we? Where's the <laughs> <laughs> We're getting to that place of she is going to slap me across the fights. <laughs> All together, we have made a total of $90 or so in the last four hours. So. We are making approximately $22.50 per hour, which I am not going to complain about. I think that's pretty good. Reading has definitely slowed down a little bit in terms of hourly, but can't complain. That is definitely something I can still hold on to moving forward as a full-time dasher slash gig worker in Redding, California. Yeah. What are you eating? Inari. It's a sweet tofu with stuffed with rice oh that looks so good it's very good man i love when that stuff is made with eggs oh my can i try a little bit of that sure do i just pick it up and put it in my mouth yeah Ooh. Inari. <laughs> oh man even with tofu that's good amen mm-hmm in other news, everyone loves our costumes. <laughs> it's true. They always stop us and they're like, oh, are you with the other puzzle piece? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I just saw one of you. And, and then I saw both of you and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> she did a really good job picking out costumes last night. We we're Thanks. like down to the <laughs> wire. Yeah. There was like nothing left, but this is all but hiding. Is it? it was hiding, waiting for us at Walmart. It's like we were <laughs> a match made in heaven or something. <laughs> All right, we got a Bedmo order. It's only three units at 1.8 miles. Yes, sir. <laughs> We've been doing Instacart and Grubhub this entire day, but I was able to plug in a shift earlier from 4.30 to 5 o'clock with DoorDash. So we're going to do that now, especially seeing that there's a $1 plus peak pay. Woot woot. Back to the app that made it all happen.
one's gonna be crazy because look how much space we have right now boom yeah a beetle size amount of room for 135 items i don't know how we're gonna do it with two people in the car right now but we're gonna do it How's it going, bro? Good. You're on my vlog now. You're on my vlog. Ah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, of course. This guy is the guy that actually got me into DoorDash to begin oh, wow. with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without him, I have no idea what I'd be doing right now. <laughs> it's fun, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Changed my life. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun because, I mean, you're just going out there, just meeting people and having fun. I'm that type of person. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is too. Chipotle because we're getting hungry again. Uh huh. My other piece right over here. Without food, she turns into. Well, you know she's beautiful. But she's just a little less beautiful. <laughs> I'll put it that way. <laughs> I need energy. You know? I need food for energy. Okay, so here we are. I got a chicken bowl and you got a what? So Fritas. So Fritas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, let's get down to the details. We made a total of $210.63 at 7.25 hours, which brings our hourly to $29.05 per hour. Boom, that's not bad. Yeah, I think it was Halloween, really. Because DoorDash was amazing. We did the calculation for that, just the DoorDash itself. And we made $39 per hour, guys. That's what brought our hourly up quite a bit. We were like $21, $22 earlier, and we're at $29 because of DoorDash. So, thank you, DoorDash. You guys came in clutch once again. But there's a little bit of bad news. You see, I'm just 1% off, 1% off of my completion rate to hit Top Dash for next month. I got my acceptance rate up. I'm up to 72%. I got it up today. We got it up today. We're at 94%. We need to be at 95% to make top dash for next month. So I'm thinking about actually going out after dinner tonight to perhaps get that. Do you think it's possible? Could be. Could be. If not, eh, whatever. I've been surviving thus far without Top Dash or status for, what, five months now? So, it's just not as lucrative in running anymore. So, that kind of time would certainly help. Anyhow, uh, there's going to be future things happening here pretty soon. Uh, there might be a special guest in a future video. I'm thinking maybe next week or the week after that. So, stay tuned. And, of course, there's the Pacific Northwest which we haven't really dialed in quite yet because the holidays are coming up, but we'll crank those dials and tune things up just a little bit. Anyhow, thanks a lot again for watching, guys. We really appreciate you guys coming a long way. Oh, <laughs> I forgot the big thing. I forgot, forgot, forgot. The biggest thing, besides, of course, me and Jamal getting married, is we crossed a 1,000 subscriber mark. Guys, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I honestly didn't think that was gonna happen for quite some time, but it did. 1K subs. We gotta do something special. Um, I'm thinking about giving away some money, just because, you know, that's what I do. I give money away, so we'll figure that out soon. 
the engineer will go to the lab and come up with something so that we can dish out a percentage of our income to you, our faithful viewers. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you soon. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. Thanks for helping Phil get to a thousand subscribers. If you want to be a part of the puzzle, just hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when all of these new videos come out. Smash.